Welcome to our Ask the Expert series at the United States Institute of Peace. Today, we'll be talking about Haiti with a governance and policy specialist, Jeffsky Poincy. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Andrew. Looking at the civil society elements and, and uh, the demands of civil society, who do you think the most important sectors of civil society are? I mean, are they religious figures, uh, private sector, um, students? I mean, which parts of civil society have um, important voices to, to be brought to bear in the, the political process and informing how we move to good governance and, uh, and a way out of this situation? Well, um, I mean, I want to see the, the civil society as a whole, right? And, and all sectors are, are important. But um, at the same time, we've seen in the past in Haiti where um, some sectors, you know, have had um, a more um, important voice. For example, the religious sector um, and, and the, the, the private sector, for example. But I think we have to go beyond this um, paradigm. We have to, 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 to be more inclusive. And, and make sure that everyone um, has a voice and all the sectors um, have, a, have a say in, 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 in you know, the matters of, of, of Haiti. And within those matters and shifting hopefully in the, in the medium and long term to good governance, what are the governance issues that need to be tackled? Is there issues with decentralization? Are there issues with budget uh, execution and, and uh, assembly of the budget, participatory budgeting? Uh, what are the most pri highest priority governance issues that you see? Well, I think the, the, the biggest issue in terms of governance in Haiti is corruption. It's the short term, the medium term, and the long term issue. And it, it has a multi-dimensional effect on the country, you know, from a social perspective, from a governance perspective, and, and from, the, from an economic perspective as well. And that should be the priority. And we've seen good signals coming from the, from the civil society lately, especially the young people that are increasingly becoming, you know, more aware of the impact of corruption um, on, on, on the country from, from an economic perspective, from a social perspective, as well as from a political perspective, from a governance perspective. Um, as I mentioned earlier, and um, I think this is the Haiti that um, you know that we want to see, Haiti where the leaders are being held accountable, and and this is the path moving forward if we really want to rebuild trust between between the 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 the, the, the citizen and the politician. Because what we've seen for the for the past thirty years is this trust has 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 been broken, and there's a wide spread distrust between the citizen and the and the politician and that even affect the 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 the, the willingness of the citizen to to take part um, in the in the political life of, of of the country what do you think the role of foreign intervention foreign assistance has been thus far for good for bad and how do you see that um, in the future and what do you think the best uh, place for foreign support could be well, um, I think the, the, the foreign um, you know, policy towards Haiti has been ineffective and to some extent detrimental um, for the country at um, many levels. <coughs> so I think um, the, the, the foreign strategy, like the, 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 the U.S. strategy and the international community in general tend to see Haiti um, from a fragility um, perspective, right? So I think if we if we want to 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 shift um, this paradigm, if we want to to um, change that, we have to start seeing Haiti um, for its potential, right? So I think this crisis has been a, a critical juncture for the young people, um, and in in particular that made significant efforts to embrace the challenges of Haiti and to take ownership of the, the future of Haiti. So I think this is a real opportunity for the U.S. and the international community as well. It's a stepping stone to, to reshape, to revisit the, the, the strategies in Haiti, um, you know, from a, from a, to, to move from a paternalistic approach to a more 
localized and mutually beneficial approach. And I think that's, 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 that's the path um, moving forward. We, 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 we um, understand, the Haitian people understand that the international community has a role to play in the future of Haiti. And, and that should be uh, much more focused on supporting the civil society, supporting the governance, the good governance in Haiti, both from the civil society and from the government. And at the same time, <coughs> you know, creating um, opportunities and, and investment um, in the country. I want to drill down on the security aspect. Um, we understand that the, the Haitian security forces, the police, uh, uh, need to, to address the issue of, of, of violence in Haiti. What, what can be done, if anything, to support them? Would it be a UN stabilization or a peacekeeping mission, or has that been tried and failed? Or is there anything else that, that can be done to support the, the Haitian police? Well, there's a lot that, that can be done, but I think a peacekeeping mission in Haiti won't work. And, and, and the, reason is, the reason for that is straightforward. It didn't work before. We had a peacekeeping mission in Haiti for almost 13 years, from 20 to 2004 to 2015, 17. and look at the, the, the situation right now, right? So, and at the same time, I think one of the preconditions for any type of um, external intervention is a local legitimacy, legitimacy from the people. And I don't think the Haitian people would welcome any peacekeeping mission, you know, because it would be unfair to ask them to legitimize um, a peacekeeping mission when the last one um, hasn't been held accountable for the, for the, for the enormous atrocities that, that, you know, they committed in Haiti during their time. And we're talking about the, the outbreak of cholera. We're talking about several, ca several cases of, you know, civilian casualties, rapes, sexual harassment, etc. And I think it's, 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 it's very important to see it from, from, from this perspective as well. Um, but I do think there's a lot that the international community could bring to, to help um, solve the security issue. Um, the first is to support, the, to, to provide support to the Haitian police and not only support in terms, of, um, in terms of weapons, but more technical support. We're talking about the intelligence, we're talking about like building the capacity to investigate uh, complex you know, crimes. And we can even together put together like, a, like an international framework to, to, to assist the, 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 the Haitian prosecutors and the judiciary in um, investigating and prosecuting high influential people that are involved in, in crimes and like that. So I think this is, this is the, the, the way moving forward. And again, the gang violence is an is a internal issue. It has a lot of, um, it, it, it's a multidimensional issue and the political component is a very important aspect of it. And, and, and if we want to, 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 to solve this issue, um, we have to see it from that perspective. We have to cut the ties between the gang violence, between the gangs and the politicians. Absolutely. Well, you paint a, a complex picture, a multidimensional picture that, that needs, you know, um, uh, a lot of uh, help to, to to imagine the, the way forward, but I think you've, you've shown us clear ways, and, and thank you very much for that analysis, and thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.